This is Cadence P Spice simulation tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to create a measurement function that measures the pulse width of output of buffer circuit. So let's get started. In the first step, we are going to load the buffer circuit project. To do that, we'll open ORCAD capture from Cadence program menu. Select the license and click over OK button. Once the ORCAD capture is ready, we are going to open the project. To do that, we'll go to file, open, go to project. And you can download the same project using the link given in the description. Then select the buffer underscore circuit dot opj file and click over open. Once the project has been opened, we are going to run the simulation. To do that, we'll click over run simulation button. Now here you have to select for all the iterations for parametric sweep and click over OK. So here we have the current measurements for the capacitance too. Now in the next step, we are going to create a goal function that measures the pulse width of each trace. To do that, we'll go to trace. From here, we'll go to measurements. And we are going to create a new measurements. To do that, we'll click over this create new button. Here we have to enter the name of the measurements. In our case, we are going to name it pulse width. Use the same location where we have saved the project and click over OK button. Now here it is asking to add the expression. So here make sure, so this is the complete expression, but here make sure to remove this first semicolon because we have added the semicolon here. Once this expression has been executed, it will be added in this measurement table. So here you can find this PW or the pulse width measurement and click over OK button. So next we are going to use this measurement function. To do that, we'll go to trace, go to the performance analysis, open performance analysis wizard, next. And here we'll find this PW function, which is here. Then we'll click over next button. Here we have to add the trace, which will be I cap two in our case. So let's select I cap two. Okay. Click over next button. Next. So here we can clearly see as we are increasing the capacitance, the pulse width of this current or I cap two is increasing. Same we can see in this performance analysis. So as we are increasing the capacitance value, the pulse width is increasing. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll learn how to do noise analysis using Cadence PSPICE. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.